Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I wanted to show you this, and the light is actually really terrible in here. Um, let me see if I open this window, it'll have to be. Let's see if I can get a little better light in here. Okay, so what I did was I took three colored waters and then three plain vases or I mean whatever I don't know glass containers okay and in one of them I put like a reddish hue another one I put green ish and then another one I put blue so what's supposed to happen is the water is supposed to walk up the paper towels and then drip down onto either side so if there was let's say liquid no liquid liquid no liquid liquid no liquid and what happened is it would go that direction that direction and then this one would come into here so then those two colors right here would mix and you can actually see where the one side was purple or is purple and one side is red so the red came in here the blue came in there and made purple okay blue here yellowish here made a kind of green but it was more of a green to start with unfortunately and then you can see where we get that yellowish reddish for orange and then we're back here to this purple so this was the walking water and if you'd like a little bit of the science behind it what happens is um, water molecules are really really attracted to other water molecules as well as they're really attracted to um, the things the things like around them so like let's say um, if you were to think of a plant the, think of the, the plant the flowers and the stem there's water at the bottom and then what happens is that chain of molecules goes up through the stem because they're attracted not only to each other but to the sides of the inside of the stem it's also why if you look at um, maybe if you were to look look at this uh, column of water right there we have to do what's called the meniscus when we are looking at how how much water is in something <clears throat> because it sticks to the sides of the container a little bit and it's not one complete flat straight line but it dips a little bit in the middle because it gets stuck really um, attracted to the sides um, it's kind of how I mean anything that absorbs would work if I were to take this paper towel and just take one little strip and just hold it in the water you would see the water start to come up you would see it literally look like it was walking up the paper towel and that's because water molecules are attracted to other water molecules it's also why you can have surface tension on things why um, pepper or needles or like walking insects walking water insects can stay on top because they don't break the, the um, surface tension of that water um, because those molecules of water are like, no, we want to hold on to you. We love you, other water water molecule. We love you, other water molecule. We love you. Um, and if you don't break that, then you have that really thin kind of membrane of um, a surface, and that's just called surface tension. Okay, so here we've got, um, because of the behavior of H2O or water molecules, the way that they react with each other as well as their attraction to the particles in the paper towel. Um, and if you color the water, you can better see that. All right. Have a great day.